everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm talking about a fairly new medication called Vibrid or Velazidone. The history of this medication is that it was approved for use in the United States first in 2011 and later it was approved in Canada in 2018. In the year 2019, it was the 334th most prescribed medication in the United States. So it's quite a ways down that list. It is new, it hasn't exactly gained a lot of popularity, and the big thing is is it hasn't really shown that it's that much more effective than current medications that are on the market. So the drug loss patent protection in June 2022 for adults and is scheduled to lose that patent protection in 2023 for pediatrics. So this medication does already have some generics approved, so you can get it cheaply. It's mostly used for major depressive disorder, but like other SSRI medications, this isn't quite an SSRI, it's a little bit different, but pretty much it's the same. What it does is it is used to treat major depressive disorder and also generalized anxiety disorder and other disorders of serotonin. So what it does is very similar to other SSRIs where it blocks that reuptake transporter. So it prevents serotonin between the two synapses from being re reuptaken into the neuron. What it does is it allows you to have more free floating serotonin in the synaptic cleft or that synaptic space. What that correlates to is how you feel. So the more serotonin you have in that space, the more of those feel good chemical messengers that you have, the better you will feel. Okay, so what is unique and specific about Velazidone or Vibrid and why a doctor may prescribe this to you over another SSRI is that maybe you've failed another SSRI or two or three and you've had bad side effects with them. Well, Velazidone or Vibrid acts a little bit differently. So what it does is it blocks that reuptake like I talked about, but it also activates a serotonin receptor. In a sense, it takes place of serotonin. So not only does it increase the levels of serotonin, it also acts as serotonin. You can get kind of a double benefit from that. So in 2011, the United States FDA said that it is unknown whether Velazidone has any advantages compared to other drugs in the antidepressant class. So it's not necessarily more effective, but it does work a little bit differently. So if you failed other ones, then maybe this will work, but it's not going to necessarily work better than if the other antidepressants had worked for you if that makes sense. So a 2019 review stated that present studies do not suggest the superiority of Velazidone compared to other antidepressants. Okay, so let's talk about the side effects of this medication. They're very similar to other SSRI-like antidepressants. Nausea, diarrhea, headache, vomiting, dry mouth, dizziness, insomnia. It can affect sexual function, make it difficult for a man to achieve an erection, make it difficulty to reach orgasm for men and for women. Those side effects can can be treated with other medications, but that's something that you can usually expect to experience with an antidepressant. Vibrid or Velazidone is not a medication that I have a lot of experience with. It's not something that I see prescribed very often in an inpatient setting, and it's also not something that I've ever taken before. And so I don't have any personal insight about it other than it possibly act a little bit differently than other antidepressants. So if you failed other ones, this one might be worth a try to see if it works differently for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it. Please subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more. And thank you so much for watching.